Good afternoon. On today's episode of Desert Wrangler, we're going to take a look at an electrical problem. This Jeep right here has had the same problem for about a month now, and because of the horrible weather we've been having here in Vegas between the heat and some of the rain, haven't had a chance to get into it until now. But this is what's going on. This particular headlight is out. We're going to try and find out why this headlight is out. Is it a wiring issue? Is it the headlight itself is burnt out? But we're going to diagnose it a little bit. So let's take a look here for a moment. All right, from this picture right here, you can actually see that the halo ring is lit up. Uh, additionally, the halos on the fog lights are lit up, so that's actually a good sign. So let's take a look over here. Um, what that's letting us know is right now, the driver's side is working fine, but now we have a, uh, a passenger side issue with both the headlight and the fog light halos, and they're not turned on at all. Let's keep on uh, taking a look here. With the headlights completely on, it's still a passenger side issue. The driver's side is completely lit. The halo is lit on both the headlight and the fog light. The headlight is completely turned on. And what we're going to do right now, let's turn on the fog light. Let's make sure that one still works as well. Okay, so now it looks like the both fog lights are turned on but only the halos is not working on both the passenger side and of course the passenger headlight itself is not working. So this is leading me to believe right now that it's an electrical issue, maybe a wiring. Uh, these lights were installed maybe a few years ago, I'm gonna say about maybe two, two and a half years ago. It could be something in the wiring. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the wiring uh, from, the, from the backside of this assembly right here, but we're not gonna start at the headlight or the fog light. We're gonna start at the harness itself behind the headlight. So let's go ahead and collect our tools. We're going to get this together and we're going to start on that side of the vehicle. Alrighty. So this is where we're at right now. We're actually at the side of the vehicle. What we're going to do is we're actually going to remove this fender and we're going to remove this inner fender liner. Uh, we're taking this method because uh, going under the hood, there's a lot of equipment in the way. We really can't see the wiring harness from that side. In most cases, you would be able to take the hood, uh, or leave it open, and remove the, the grill. But in this case, I can't because I got that 12,000 pound winch in the way. So our next alternative is we're gonna remove this fender, we're gonna remove the inner fender liner. Um, I haven't collected all the tools that I need, but that's like not a problem. I just don't remember what the size of the, uh, the fasteners are uh, for the inner fender liner, which is no big deal. So we're gonna start off with the fender we're going to uh, remove it completely and there are two wires for this light right here so we got to remember to be careful as we're, we're removing the fender to disconnect the two wires so let's go ahead and get that done Now that we have the uh, fender disconnected, we're going to go ahead and remove it and we're going to place it to a side and I'm going to get a few more tools. Uh, these appear to be Allen bolts here. We got quite a few, maybe a couple of Allen bolts, um, some number two uh, Phillips heads, and we got a large bolt over here. So we're going to go ahead and measure those and then we're going to collect the right tools and then we're going to start to remove this and then from here we're going to take a look inside of the harness to find out what's going on what is not letting the headlight turn on or the halos on both the passenger side so uh, let's go ahead and get started let's collect some tools and then we're going to be on our way alrighty we are good to go i got the tools i need in fact we got the three different kinds of tools here we got uh, an allen wrench a 530 seconds inch Allen wrench for the first three bolts from the front to the rear. We have a number two Phillips for right here, and then we have a 13 millimeter for this large bolt in the back. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and undo these fasteners, and we're going to remove the inner fender liner. Here we go. All 
righty. With the inner fender liner went ahead and loosened up, we're going to move these wires out of the way so we don't catch it or pull it out of its place. We're going to remove the inner fender liner. We're going to go ahead and put it down and put it to a side so we can further investigate the wiring harness. Uh, from this point right here, we're just going to take a look at all the wiring on this side over here. Uh, if we can't find anything that's uh, the wrong with it or don't have any access to it, we're going to take it uh, another action. But until then, let me go ahead and put this down and we're going to go ahead and take a look at that harness. See if we can have any access from this side. Okay, so now that we're actually looking at this area right here, let me see if I can get you a better angle of what I'm looking at. Whoa, bad balance on my side. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we're actually looking at this little set of wires down here, but we don't have a lot of access. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our best attempt to take the front grill off. But it is going to be a bit of a challenge since I mentioned I do have that winch in the front and that does eliminate a lot of wiggle space. So um, let me do that. Let me go ahead and take my next course of action we're going to go ahead and open the hood we're going to remove the six uh i don't know what you call those little uh, button button snaps that go in there to, re to retain the uh the grill so we'll go ahead and take those off and we'll try and uh wiggle out the grill without ruining the grill all right so let's go ahead and let's get started on that let's open the hood and see how far we can get all right so here we are we're at the actually front of the jeep we're going to go ahead and open the grill um, sorry, we're going to open the hood and we're going to try our best to remove the grill without damaging it. And we are going to use this, uh, I, I don't even know what you call these little things. It's like a little trim tool. You know, it's got, uh, it's made out of a polymer. It's very soft plastic. It won't ruin anything. And of course, we're going to try and save those uh, little tree plugs that go into what we're trying to remove so we don't damage them. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see how far we can get with this. so far so good now some of these did uh separate which is not a big deal we can go and just remove the rest of them to help us remove the grill so that's what we're going to do at this time all right so this is what we're looking at here we have the actual retainer itself and then you got the part of the tree that goes inside there uh, even though the uh, tool itself is plastic and the grill is plastic it, it's still safe uh, because we're not damaging the paint now these are easily put back together you just have to slide one back into the other one just made it to a nice location like this don't push it in all the way because then you're going to separate this guy right here and this is what retains the grill to the chassis itself or the the radiator support all right let's keep on going let's see how far we can get to take this grill off Okay, so now that you can see that I got the grill off right there, we still have the connections here. And what we're looking at is uh, the wiring connections on this side. So we need to find out what's going on with that headlight and the halo. Um, we're going to try and work it as best we can from this side right here. So let me go ahead and change that angle. Let me see if I can help you out a little bit. what we got which is normally what we want okay I think that's all right for right now so we're actually looking at this harness right here so we can always disconnect this you have a look a little lock that you remove and then you should be able to disconnect this right here now this is for the side marker blinker, which is fine. But now that we have this disconnected, we can actually move the grill out of the way. Alrighty, I got it balanced, but we still want to be gentle with it because remember this is the, your vehicle's paint. We don't want to mess with it too much. Now this is all the wiring that we're dealing with here. You've got Headlight wires, you got the wires for the blinkers, you got the wires for the uh, the fog lights, and of course the halos. Everything seems to be fine in this area right here. It's like nothing's loose, nothing's disconnected. It's all nice and tight. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge to find out what is what. This is the halo. Oh, goodness.
Hmm. Well, lordy, lordy. What's going on with that? We're going to further investigate. I'm not going to waste a lot of the video time uh, running the wires. I'm going to go get a, a uh, some kind of probe or scanner to find out what's going on with this. Um, and we'll get to the end result as fast as we can. Alrighty, here we are again. We actually got it figured out. Now, before I move any further, most of us like our aftermarket headlights, the halogen type with the halos, just like these right here. And we all pretty much know that to get them regulated, because they don't necessarily work right when you plug them in. So there's such a thing as this anti-flicker LED diode. This actually helps regulate the lights so that you can get it all dialed in, get your headlights working right, get your high beams working right, and of course, uh, the halos is a given. They're wired and they work. Now let's take a look at this right here. Um, I went ahead and I removed the headlight. I still couldn't figure it out after a little while of beating over my head. So I decided, let's remove the headlight. Let's take a look at this diode. Maybe this is the problem. But it, it, it all tested fine. All the resistance on it was good. So we're not going to move any further than that. Something just must have been loose. I did not repair anything, and I, I am ashamed to say that. I, I wish there actually was something to fix so I can show you how to do it. But in this case, it actually started to work out fine. Uh, let me show you. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to first turn on the halos. Let's see how they look. Halos on both sides are working fine on the headlights. Halos are working perfect on the fog lights. Let's take another look over here. Let's go ahead and turn on the headlights. All right. Headlights are working fine. Headlights are working fine. Beautiful so far. Let's just take a look at the high beams real quick. All right. High beams are working. High beams are working. So far so good. Everything's giving it a go. Let's take it one more step further. First, let's take off the high beams. Let's just take that off for a moment. Let's turn on the fog lights. Let's see how they're looking. All right. And the fog lights are looking great. Wonderful. Now, there's just one more thing I want to do. Let's go ahead and turn off the fog lights. I'm going to turn the lights off all together. Now, the headlights also work on the remote switch. So if you, uh, your remote key fob, if you were to lock or unlock the doors, of course, your headlights flash. And in this case, I'm also supposed to get the headlights to flash. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that's wonderful. They look great. Looks like the issue is resolved. And what I believe the issue may have been, it could have been just something loose. Because I went ahead and I uh, undid all the wires. I spliced them all back together. Uh, everything's making very good contact at this point. The uh, LED diode um, flicker device is working fine. And, of course, it's reassembled to this point. Everything seems to be working fine, and I got my headlight back. Thankfully, I don't have to buy another headlight because these halogens, you know, they come in pairs. They don't sell just one. That's an expensive set. And of course, this is a cheap brand. This particular one right here that I'm using is a cheap brand from China that I got on Amazon. Not a huge loss, less than $200. But that's $200 I don't have to spend. Uh, it's not the preferred brand like, uh, oh my goodness, what's the, I forgot what it's called, but anyway. Uh, there are expensive brands out there that go up to like $700 that I know of. And, you know, I don't want to spend that kind of money. I hope you don't want to spend that kind of money unless you're really willing to, to, to give you that real particular JW speaker. That's the name of the brand. JW speakers is a fantastic uh, manufacturer of aftermarket headlights and other items and products, uh, accessories that really doll up your vehicle. But, you know, most of us are on a budget, so we're going to go the other way, which is fine. We're going to give this one more little flicker right here. All right, headlight's still working. Looks beautiful. All right, so the only thing I'm gonna do after this, uh, when I finish my video, is I'm actually gonna close my, my garage door since my vehicle's already lined up to the garage. I'm gonna turn on the headlights to make sure that the headlights are still lined up with each other. If I still gotta adjust it, now's the perfect opportunity to readjust that one since I went ahead and I removed it from the socket. Uh, from this point, I just gotta put it all back together, uh, replace the grill, put it back where it goes, replace the inner liner and the fender and we're going to go ahead and get that done but i'm not going to bore you it's pretty much the same steps that i've done to remove all, remove all of these items only in reverse um yeah uh, aside of a good washing and cleaning we're actually very good for the day i'd like to thank you very much for watching thank you for joining me it, it was it was a wonder having you here with us thank you for joining um defiant jeep 
And please don't forget to uh, join us at uh, DesertRanglers.club. We'd love to see you trail with us. Have a great day.